At Pena Community Hospital, we understand that athletes need to be in top condition both on and off the field. Hi, I'm Caitlin Wiedemann. After having surgery on both of my knees, I didn't know if I would play sports again. The physical therapy team at Pana Community Hospital gave me intense therapy and sports enhancement training that has kept me competitive in four sports. Whether it's providing sports enhancement, immediate assessments on the field, or treating an injured athlete, we can get you back in the game. We also work closely with orthopedic specialist Dr. Elvitar, now providing orthopedic care for patients of all ages. Pana Community Hospital Rehab is your partner in health. After falling to the Shelbyville Rams earlier in the season, Pena got an opportunity for redemption on Wednesday night in the semifinal round of regional play. Both teams were hungry and looking to advance to the main event on Friday. Shelbyville's Malcolm Miller got the scoring started for the Rams with this floater, but Pena's Brock Dwarf scores on a pump and jump over Turner Pullen before hitting another 16-footer off the dish from Kyle Lynch. Panther Nation was loving it as Pena took its first lead. Both teams traded points in the first quarter. Adam Miller hits from the left wing. Hunter Plummer answers back with a tray of his own. But Seth Vaughn is all alone on the baseline for an easy two to put Pena up 13 to nine after one. You got a couple of quick buckets to get things started. Uh, what was working for you early? Uh, just a lot of inside stuff. I know I like to block shots, so I know I had to pump fake and get them off the floor early and then finish inside. And my teammates were really looking to get the ball inside when I had mismatches or whenever I had a guy sealed. Malcolm Miller is on target from deep to start the second, and then the Rams get a really pretty turnaround jumper from Peyton Howell. But it was the Adam Miller show in the second as he connects from beyond the arc for three, drives baseline and fights through contact for two more, and then again from deep. He had 10 in the second to put the Panthers up 26-17 going into recess. You had a big second quarter defensively, only eight points. What was working for you? Yeah, you know, we, we had guys that uh, just stuck to the game plan, right? Uh, guarding Miller well, we were guarding Poland, uh, able to box out, able to, you know, they couldn't get second chance points. I don't think Poland had an offensive rebound, which is something we hammered on at practice. I think he had 17 rebounds the first time we played him. You know, guys are stepping up, and that's what you got to do in a regional game. It's win or go home. It might have been the defense in the second, but the offense was clicking for Payne in the third. It's Brock Dwarf here on a quick move to the rack for a nice score, and then Adam Miller keeps it going with a pair of threes to connect on his fourth long ball of the night. Malcolm Miller answers and connects on the dream shake over Brock Dwarf, but Pena responded with a couple of physical buckets from Michael Roebuck. That's what you call points plus. Cade Watson makes a nice move in the paint here, but the Panthers would keep some points off the board after Jake McLeod steps into the lane and draws a big charge. It would help the Panthers maintain a 43-29 lead going into the fourth. Kyle Lynch gets the finger roll to go, but the Rams were able to cut the lead to just seven after a jumper from Miller, a score by Turner Pullen, another and one from Miller, and then the swipe and score from Cade Watson. It looked like we might have a comeback bid on our hands, but with just a minute and some change remaining though, Pena was able to play keep away for nearly 45 seconds on a single possession. It forced Shelbyville into a fouling situation and let the Panthers hang on for the 52-44 win, advancing into the championship game. You avenged an early season loss. What was different tonight? <laughs> well, it did help having Kyle Lynch back. He wasn't there that first game. Uh, but the intensity from the start felt like the first time we played him, you know, we just came out soft, came out kind of dead. Tonight was the opposite. You know, guys are ready to go, hitting people, getting rebounds, ripping everything down. You guys take on uh, Tutopolis Friday for the regional championship. How big is that uh, for the season you guys have had this year? I mean, it's, it's the apex right now. That's going to be our biggest game. You know, if we win, we'll go off this court, never lose, you know, not going out as losers on it. It'd be a bit of nothing game loss, especially. You know, that was a that was a big one on senior night. If we can go out and get that dub, I feel like that will they'll just cross that out and we can forget about that one. You advance to the uh, regional championship round. How big is that for this team? You know, it's great. That's one of our goals. You know, you have to get to the championship in order to win it. So uh, that's a goal all season. Uh, we wanted to face T-Town. We want to face those top teams. Not scared of T-Town. <laughs> we want to face those top teams. Uh, you know, see where we're at. Those seven seniors, I mean, seniors die hard on your home floor especially. Uh, we'll be ready to go on Friday night. 